Now to the search for answers surrounding the well-being of an American who is still imprisoned in Russia. Paul Whelan is serving a 16-year sentence accused by Russia of spying, charges the U.S. calls politically motivated. And after weeks of silence, Whelan finally was able to contact his family yesterday. No explanation of why he was recently transferred to a prison hospital. Whelan's family calls the move highly unusual. And joining us now is Paul's brother, David Whelan. David, it's good to see you. I appreciate you. you taking the time tonight. Thanks for having me. David, your brother was scheduled to call your parents on Thanksgiving. He did not get to speak with them until yesterday morning, and those days in between must have just been terrible. Uh, what do we know now? How, how is he doing? Uh, he seems fine, and he was healthy before he was sent to the prison hospital, and uh, he's, he's healthy now. He was uh, able to call our parents again, and we now know that he was moved with another foreigner to the uh, prison hospital um, on Thanksgiving Day with very, very short notice. Uh, and what appears to have happened is that the uh, Wagner paramilitary group that is sending convicts to the Ukraine war uh, came to IK-17 and was recruiting uh, more uh, more convicts. And so they appear to have just wanted Paul to be out of the way. In a, in a sense, he was fortunate because some of the other foreigners who are held in that prison uh, were thrown into solitary confinement while whatever was going on happened. So uh, so he's back and, and everything's back to normal, but it's uh, still a very unusual and uh, disconcerting thing to have him suddenly just disappear and be uh, be uh, out of communication. Oh, I can only imagine. And and when he is when he does communicate with you and, and the family and, and your parents, uh, are you able to trust everything that that he says? How closely monitored are those calls? Uh, there's a guard there and he's recording the calls while Paul's speaking. So he's Paul's very, very careful uh, and uh, he doesn't communicate anything that would cause him to be retaliated against uh, or to, to put him in, an, in a difficult position. I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing with us. Are officials telling you anything uh, about, uh, are U.S. officials rather telling you anything about why he was moved or is the information so far coming from your brother? It's strictly from our brother. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, Paul's really the only one on, on, the, on the ground that would know that unless the U.S. government was able to go out there and, and, and speak to the, uh, the warden. I think from the warden's perspective, it was probably a, a relatively routine thing. Just, you know, hide the foreigners while the uh, mercenaries are, are hiring. Um, and the fact that he wasn't allowed to communicate just became sort of a, um, a, a, a self-inflicted uh, wound. Otherwise, is he getting what he needs? I know that uh, there have been concerns about access to medication, access to proper nutrition, all of these things. How is he doing in, in terms of those things? Oh, you know, it's difficult. The uh, sanctions on Russia have meant that there's uh, less food at the prison, um, so they're not eating as, as much as they used to. Uh, it's harder for them to get fresh fruits and vegetables because those aren't being sold even to Russian citizens, let alone to, uh, to convicts. Um, yeah, it, it's a little bit more difficult for, for him. And, and then, of course, as you say, uh, you know, when we send him medicine, when we send him other uh, things, uh, some of them will still be stolen by guards, so they won't actually reach him. And, uh, and that becomes a problem. Yeah, it's maddening. And, and we know your brother, of course, remains in Russia, as does WNBA star Brittany Griner in the Russian penal colony now. Any word or any update from the U.S. government on, on what is next and, and the timeline for the Americans who continue to be uh, stuck in Russia? No, I, I think uh, what, where we are is that the U.S. government has made a substantial concession. The Biden administration has done, I think, pretty much everything that they can do at this point. Uh, and we have someone who was appointed by President Putin who is now uh, essentially obstructing uh, the ability to get to some resolution. Uh, this person, whoever they are, um, is, is not only harming uh, American families, uh, you know, the Whelans and the Grinders in this case, um, but also uh, Russian families who might be getting their loved ones home. So uh, if Victor Boot is one of the people who might go home, his daughter, uh, Elisabetta, is not going to see him for Christmas. Uh, Roman Seleznev's mom is not going to see him. So, uh, you know, it's it's becoming a uh, very curious why this one person is is trying to obstruct these uh, these trades, these exchanges, because it really should be a matter of just getting people back home. Absolutely. David Whelan, always appreciate your time. I know this is a long haul and, and a long journey for your family. Thank you for allowing us to continue to spotlight it. Thanks for having me, Natasha. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.